Kevin Bach from LaserMax. Today we're going to take a look at installation of guide rod lasers for compact, full size, and competition models of Glock firearms. So this is going to cover install on all 9mm, 40, 357 SIG, and 45 GAP models. And it's also going to cover uh, generations 1 through 3 of Glock models 20 and 21. So let's get started. Inside you'll have an envelope that contains your operator's manual. A box that has your small parts and tools to help with installation. And then your guide rod itself. Before getting started, it's important that you make sure, both visually and physically, that your firearm is unloaded and that you don't have any live ammunition around your workspace. Anytime you're dealing with springs, it's a good idea to wear a pair of safety glasses. So you can remove the slide of your firearm according to your Glock owner's manual and set that aside for later. In your toolkit, you'll find a little metal rod that helps to remove the factory slide lock and slide lock spring. You'll use the tool to compress the slide lock spring and the slide lock will fall out from the side. At that point, you can turn the frame upside down and give it a tap on the table and the slide lock spring should fall out. If not, you can use the supplied tool to help you out. Now you'll install the LaserMax slide lock spring, making sure that it fits in the same slot that you removed the factory one from. With that installed, we'll now put in our LaserMax slide lock. You want to make sure that the painted tabs on the slide lock are oriented back towards you as you're holding onto the firearm. What I like to do is simply wedge the slide lock on top of the spring and catch it and then you can just use it as a little lever. To now we can remove the factory guide rod and set this aside should you need it for later and install your LaserMax guide rod. For warranty purposes you want to take note of your laser serial number which will be printed on the body of the laser and is also on your original packaging. This needs to be installed with the wedged portion of the battery cap facing directly away from the barrel. You'll compress the guide rod and set that down into the second barrel lug just like on your factory guide rod. And then put the frame back onto the slide. Activation can be completed from either side of the firearm. And then when you have the slide lock in the center position, the laser will be off. For more information on this and all other LaserMax products, check out our website, www.lasermax.com.